Hello. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to attempt to burn this into a stick to make a handle. So this here is, I've made it a little different than the first ads I made. So you can use this as an ads or a hatchet. This here I have actually burned in two holes. So I can put it in like this for an ads. And if you notice, I can have the bevel on the outside. Or I can turn it around and have the bevel on the inside. As well, I can put it in here like this. And now I have a hatchet. So I wanted to try just burning this in by making a forge, a small you know, low heat forge out here in the bush that I can heat this tang up and burn it into a piece of wood to use it as an adze or an axe. I'm just gonna burn in one hole. So maybe I'll go with the hatchet style and see how that works. So what I've done is I've built this out and I'm gonna put a small fire in here. I've got a pair of multi-tool. This here is an awl that I can use to start my hole. And then I need a set of bellows. I just purchased this. It's gonna make a quick bellows. All I have to do is do this. And open this end up. This little end right here, I'm just going to cut that off. And now I have a blower. So I press this down so it's sturdy, that now I can push that in. So what I'm gonna do right now, that's still not uh, heated up into a good bed of coals yet, but I'm gonna put this in there first, then I'm gonna take it out and try to burn a hole in this. So I'm just gonna drop that in like this and just heat that up. It does not have to be red hot. It's just gotta burn wood. Take my gloves, very important. And let's see if we can get a hole burn into this and then we'll do the same to our blade. The biggest thing is I've gotta make sure that I'm only heating up this part of the tang and I do not heat up this end because that can ruin my temper. It's been for very long but See if we can burn that in a little bit with this, this here. Oh yeah, sure she's straight. And this here will give me my initial hole. Now I have actually burned it in without doing this pre-hole, but it's just going to start it for me. Got a good uh, bed of coals there now. Now we're going to try to burn that in a little bit more, then we'll try the... Um, the blade itself. Okay, we're gonna try the blade now. So I'm gonna get that right down in these coals. And start blowing on it. Cover it up a little bit. Like that. 
Let's see if we can get this. Let that heat up there a little bit since it was cold when I put it in. Give it a try. It's not hot enough. Okay, it's getting hot though. But I'm just trying to heat up just that tip. Drop it back in there. We can tell how hot it's getting just by the color. And I do not want the colors to reach up to that end of that blade. I may actually cool it off the end with a little water. Just throw that in there for now. Let that heat up. I'm keeping an eye on those colors as it goes up through. If it does, then I know that I have to cool it off. Move just a hair, so I try to set it, seat it a little bit more. She's solid there now. Just gonna let that cool. As you've seen, it did not bother that edge. She's warm, but it did not discolor. So this here is the Kalahari hatchet that I made a few weeks ago. I've been using this a lot, and that head has not moved a bit. It is not epoxied. It is just heated and driven in. And this one has worked great. Now this here is just a piece of wood that I found as was the dead branch out here. 
So what I'm thinking is if I can create a few of these that people can carry on them, I may make a run of them so people can purchase them. And then they can have an adds or a light hatchet right in their kit by just carrying the blade. You do have to make a fire and such, but you can fashion it like this or an adds at home and use it as well. Now, this burn-in method, I have seen that people use this all over the world, and that's all they do is burn it in and it friction fit. So, it works. We're going to give this a little try, see if it's burn in enough. Um, we'll give it a try and see if it stays in. Myself, I would like to go deeper, but for the video's sake, I've got to get back. <laughs> but we're going to give it a try. So this here is the dead birch, so I'll just cut into this some. Oh yeah, that's working nice. As you see, get some of that out of the way. Now that is the beveled side. We'll try the flat side. So the flat just wants to dig in where the rounded wants to basically bevel, bevel it out. So yeah, totally working. <laughs> Very cool. So this here is just another temporary handle. Uh, it was dead wood, not sure how strong it would be. But I do not have any handle material at home. So I wanted to be able to come out here in the bush and be able to fashion this, and I have. Now I have also put another groove down below on my other handle I was testing so I could put it in for an ads. Or I had one, one actually I had the ads above that I could put my blade on an angle like this. Then below I had a hatchet. That I could slide it in this way. So it gave me both in one handle. So that's just another option. So hope you like the forge. That was pretty cool. I heated it up just enough. And as you see, it did not color down there. So that edge is as good as it was when I came out. So I want to thank you for watching. Take care and all the best.